In this Lamigo Quick Bytes, we are going to look at how execution tags can add a whole new dimension to your Lambda traces. <music> execution tags can be used to identify areas of interest within your code simply by adding a few extra lines of code to your Lambda function. To get started with Lamigo execution tags, install the Lamigo tracer library for your code base. Here I am using the tracer for Node.js, which I've already deployed within this Lambda function. Once the library is referenced in your function's code, you can then set some execution tags at points of interest within your code. It's important to note here too that if you're using manual tracing, that your manual tracing token needs to be included as part of the library configuration. When invoked, the execution tag will be available as a filter point within your Lamigo instance. You want to see something really cool? You can also use execution tags to create some custom widgets on your Lamigo dashboard. To add a custom dashboard widget using an execution tag, First, identify a tagged invocation and click on the execution tag required. This will take you to a filtered explore page view to show a list of all invocations with that tag. Click the add to dashboard button on the top right to create the widget. Set the widget title and then select the widget type. If you're choosing table as a type, then also set the number of records required. Or if you're choosing chart as the widget type, then select the chart color. And finally, click Create. Execution tags allows you to set specific logic breaks into your Lambda function so that you can tell when particular points of interest have been triggered. To find out more, visit docs.lamigo.io. And as always, may the observability be with you.